to know how to use the Create Mod Boiler and Steam Engine? Ever wondered how to seriously ramp up your stress units? Water wheels just not cutting it? Well, this is the video for you. By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up your own steam power system, boosting stress units by gajillions. As always, if you find this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to get more of my tutorials and all of my fun Let's Plays through the big mod packs. Your support helps me create more content for you. Let's get on to steam engines. So why do this? Well, behind me is the maximum possible steam engine. Yep, the max. It is nine by eight boiler with 18 engines on, each producing their maximum amount of stress units, which is coming in at 295,000 stress units. Yep. 295,000 just under. Behind me, you can see water wheels and windmills don't even come close to that much stress. So this water wheel setup here is only producing 29,000. So a 10th of the amount of energy. This windmill, I know it looks a bit funky, is only producing 8,000 stress units. So you could create nearly 295,000 stress units just from this one boiler. That's the reason to do it. Even this small setup here, which is just a two by one boiler with one arm on it and some fires and water coming in very slowly. That's actually going at 20 RPM. You can produce 2000 stress units. Let's explore the essential components you need to be able to set this all up. You are going to need tanks. You're going to need the steam engine, of course. You're going to need some level of infinite water source. You're going to need pumps. You're going to need pipes. And you're going to need something to kickstart your power. I use this sort of setup sometimes, which gives me 300 stress units. And you're going to need a heat source. The crafting recipes for these can change from mod pack to mod pack. So I'm not going to go through in detail how to craft these items. You can use JEI or REI, you know, this thing that shows you how to do stuff. So in this pack, the fluid tank, for example, is two copper sheets and a barrel. The steam engine is a copper block, an andesite alloy and a gold sheet. But that could be different from mod pack to mod pack. What I am going to show you is how to put it all together and see what maximum efficiencies you can gain. First of all, let's talk heating sources. Clearly, boilers need to be heated up, right? We've got to generate steam. So we've got some options. You can use campfires. You could use soul fire campfires. You could use lava. You can use something called blaze burners. These three, or blaze burners without any fuel, actually create what they call a passive boiler. So this is gonna have a maximum output of 2000 stress units from the one engine. Try and put any more on there, it's not gonna happen. The amount of water you get going into your boiler depends on how fast your pumps are spinning. So if I slow these pumps down, you can now see that that water line has redu reduced red. There is no water, there's not enough water going into these boilers to keep these things running so you've got to make sure you get your stress units and your rpm absolutely right to get enough water going in to these boilers see it's gone green the smallest option over here this is only going at 20 revs per minute which is very slow and this is able to produce enough water going into this small tank to produce the 2000 stress units that's producing the same amount of stress as that one over there, but with a lot less space and a lot less revs. So it's not difficult to set up a very simple 2000 stress unit setup with some campfires, a small tank and a slow moving pump. Blaze burners can do something very special. We'll have a bit more detail on blaze burners in a minute, but if you look at this, we are currently producing 2000 stress units. If I give this guy some coal, you can see we're now producing 16,000 stress units. We have enough water going in. We have an, the size is big enough. We are able to produce 16,000 stress units just from this one blaze burner being fed. Not bad, is it? We'll have a look at mechanical arms and deployers and depots in a minute to get the blaze burners constantly fed but let's try and build up our first boiler and steam engine step one is to build your tank and put it above a heat source so plop down your four campfires grab your tank plop it on top so let's put the tank on top and we have a tank simple now what we need to do is get some water into our tank now i'm going to use a creative motor but you know you should know how to get water into your into your pipes with some pumps if you don't i've got my getting started with create tutorial i'll leave a link to it in the description and hopefully if i remember a card above my head here and that will give you the basics of how we do this essentially we need an infinite water source we want to put a pipe in the infinite water source maybe a pump 
on the top of the infinite water source and then we use some piping to go all the way to our tank and we need to then apply some rotational energy to this guy i'll pop my creative motor on the top and you can see he's spinning he's actually spinning the wrong way so if i just boot that with my hammer he'll now be sucking water out of this infinite water source and putting it in the tank now clearly this is going to be very slow so probably need to gear up we can gear up by using a large cog to a small cog and that's now going a bit faster and we can continue to gear that up as we need to to get this going fast enough so that'll pull in the water into our tank we have enough water going in now we can get on with the steam engine part to turn this into a boiler we need to attach a steam engine so just right click it onto the front anywhere on the front will do it will turn it into a boiler and if you've got your engineers goggles on you can start to see the stats of it so this is a passive boiler i.e the heat source is only like that there's water in there there's heat in there and the size is okay now to get this moving you can see the grayish outline when I hover over the front if I now right click we've got our steam engine attached and you could see it's creating 2048 stress units we can add another one if we want just by propping on another engine so the between them they are now producing half the amount 1024 because this is a passive engine let's talk blaze burners to change these engines from a passive engine to really generate in the stress units to make a difference you need to use blaze burners craft your empty blaze burners however jai tells you to craft it go find some blazes right click them and your blaze burner turns into filled blaze burner they look pretty cool too and as if by magic and my preparing this you could see we've got exactly the same setup as we had over there but this time we've got four blaze burners underneath this is still passive. If I put some engineer's goggles on it, you can see it's passive. It's producing 2,048 stress units, which is the same as that one, just with the blaze burners unfueled underneath. As soon as I hit them with some fuel, we go to a level one boiler. And now we're producing 16,000 stress units. If I pop another engine on here, that 16,000 is now going to be split into two engines of 8,000 stress units. So the combined amount is still 16,000. That's for the the level one this guy is a max is level 18 producing 294,912 stress units which is the maximum amount that you could produce with one of these and obviously there's nothing to stop you building a second one if you've got enough blaze burners and enough momentum happening here to pump in uh two water pumps running at 192 rpm yeah, if you want all of that stress unit that is now the key with blaze burners is keeping them fuel and we can use mechanical arms to do that if we pop a depot down let's pop a chest next to it with a funnel on the side it can be either funnel a brass or an andesite funnel we can now pop in here charcoal see this arrow it's saying it's an input if we boop it it's an output and that's now putting the charcoal on the depot with our mechanical arm in hand we can right click these things to set inputs and outputs so if i right click on the depot it goes blue which is saying that's an output it's going to take the stuff from this if i then right click my four blaze burners you can see they're going yellow that's an input it's going to put into those blaze burner i can now pop you down now if i send this some um, rotational energy i can take from here funnily enough there to there and this has now got some rotational energy eventually it will collect the fuel it will give it to a blaze burner which will immediately speed it up because it's now getting fuel and this thing will keep these blaze burners fueled for as long as we actually have charcoal available to it there is one other fuel source for these things it's called blaze cakes and they can make them even stronger so this increases the heat even more helping us actually generate now on on our bigger ones even more heat and therefore even more size that we can work with blaze cakes are probably late game stuff all you really need is this guy because this guy is producing as much stress units as half of this hopefully you found this tutorial useful i've enjoyed making it as always like subscribe all of that good stuff and why not check out some of my other videos i will catch you with the next video